Welcome back, lovers of sequential art. So why do comics matter in 2021? There are so many more mediums through which you can tell a story these days. Why comics? You know, I've been on the spinning rock for close to 50 years now. I've seen a lot of things come and go. And while I don't claim to be an expert in much, I have devoted my life to helping children grow and develop as a therapist. In this video, I'm going to present you with at least three main reasons why I think comics matter in 2021, maybe now more than ever. But I really want to hear from you. Why do comics matter to you? So definitely leave a comment and let me know anything I missed, any other points that are worth making as to why comics are an important part of our culture. If you haven't done so already, head over to blackmanic.com, take a look at my graphic novel, Tate Earthlander, join the mailing list to get updated when I'm ready to have the whole thing printed up, and if you like what you see, share it with your friends and spread the word. Now, children today are bombarded by technology, devices, apps, and systems, social media platforms, and advertising constantly vying for their attention. This constant assault on their senses must ultimately be detrimental to their ability to focus and attend to difficult material. Literacy is about more than just being able to read. Literacy is about understanding the world around you, being able to navigate it successfully, being able to examine some information and to determine whether it is true or false, or somewhere in between. Media literacy is about knowing how to avoid being taken advantage of by both large corporations trying to manipulate you and individuals trying to take advantage of you. Literacy is about understanding both the small problems of people and the larger problems of societies, all of which is vital to a thriving civilization and a successful individual life. Comics for many kids are the gateway to reading and to literacy. And for that reason alone, I believe they warrant some attention and some respect. My second point is about what it takes to bring media content forward in this day and age. You know, we have many new mediums and particularly this medium that we're using right now, YouTube. This has opened up a wide variety of opportunities for people to share their experience or to tell stories. And the beautiful thing about it is that one individual can create content and provide it to the world to then assess its value and to take from it what they can. In our current culture, many of the problems that we face require huge teams of people to complete. Think of the CERN Collider. Thousands and thousands of people coming together to create something on such a grand scale that no one person could have ever achieved it alone. Unfortunately, when money is involved, particularly in the entertainment industry, large organizations tend to focus on the bottom line, which ultimately is about making money. This stifles creativity. Corporations don't take chances on new ideas. They continuously reproduce and rehash the same old formulaic content that they know will sell enough to make them a profit. However, if you look throughout history, most of our greatest works of art have been the work of single individuals or very small teams of a few people being guided by one visionary. That kind of unbridled creativity is what inspires others to tackle huge problems and to build the CERN colliders and other such endeavors. Comics today present an opportunity for a talented writer or artist or small group of people to bring a singular vision to the public without gatekeepers interfering. They can be created with the simplest of tools but can contain the most diverse and far-reaching ideas. Human beings learn through stories. Comics are our mythologies and teach vital lessons about right and wrong. Of course, they cannot be the only thing used to teach kids, but they are a good starting point. The combination of words and imagery is uniquely suited to teaching otherwise complex or subtle material. Think about it. Everything from building IKEA furniture to studying university physics or anatomy courses 
includes both text and visuals to illuminate the topic in such a way that a wide variety of people can ingest that knowledge. Really, the more complex and nuanced our societies become, the more we can benefit from having comics to help our children learn the lessons they need to learn in order to be functional members of that society. I can't imagine, nor would I want to, an environment where comics were entirely eliminated. And I think our culture would be the poorer for it. There is such a wide variety of stories being told in comic and graphic novel form at this point in history. There is something for everybody, and there is room for everybody to both produce and to consume stories and ideas that span the entire spectrum of human existence. As I move forward with this channel, my intention will be to cover all of that, both the superhero stories and the complex and politically charged ones. I have read graphic novels covering the Holocaust. I have read graphic novels covering the lived experience of being a young woman in Iranian society. I have also read graphic novels about Superman and Spider-Man that really were just entertainment at times. My hope is that I can bring all of these things to YouTube land in an unbiased way and just present it so that you can make a decision about what's right for you. So if you want to learn more about comics and graphic novels, if you want to explore the diverse spectrum of what's out there, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and definitely leave me a comment. Let me know what your experience has been with comics and graphic novels, and if there's anything I missed about what makes them continue to be relevant in the modern age. I'll see you next time.